Okay, guys, <clears throat> I got the uh, I got the top end ordered. It'll be here Wednesday, is what it says. Since I can't really do much on this bike, what I'm going to do is get see if you can see that get this air air filter cleaned up because it's it's kind of dirty and I can't ride, so I'm gonna gonna do that. I'm gonna clean that up real nice. I'm probably gonna take a wash rag or a rag or something and just clean up. Uh, all the dirt spots under the plastics and the gas tank and on the frame and stuff I was just gonna try to do something like put the head on without the piston in there but then I and wash it with the with the the hose but I thought what about the air box I'd have to take that off and have to I'd have to do something to get the air filter not to get water in it so I was gonna do that but then I thought you know It'd just be too much work. And let me show you another thing. I was going to take this uh, carburetor off and take it apart and try to get in there and see if it's dirty. But it was running fine. I think it was just the piston causing it to bog and not idle good. But if I get right in here, I thought, oh yeah, it'll be fine to get that boat off. It's not that strip. But you come over here and you look at this. I mean, there's nothing left in that thread. And the threads on that bolt so I don't know how I'm gonna get that off but I'm gonna take the piston off today and clean her up sorry that it's a boring video I will be back riding this bike or hope someone wanted to come look at it today is Friday someone wanted to come look at it tomorrow the day you're seeing this video which will be Saturday but I'm not gonna let them come and look at it like this so I'm gonna get the, the rebuild in and then I'm gonna let them come in and look at it next weekend so if he buys it which he seems like if he, if he actually shows up, I think he'll get it because the bike looks good and with the new top end in it, it will run good for when he sees it. I know it's kind of ripping him off, but it won't be my problem anymore. It will be his and the guy that sold me the bike, it blew up two weeks later. So, you know, he kind of ripped me off. And plus the, uh, wherever it went, the power valve, <coughs> power valve was already like bondoed and gorilla glued on there so he, and he, he knew that and then the the barrel or the jug over here was welded he knew that he had to have known that because I figured it out two days after I got the bike but a bunch of y'all said this head is horrible because of that it, it could just be a crack and it was just leaking a little bit like a couple drops so he could have just welded over it and it's not even hurting anything with the compression this right here is where the compression is these outer holes is where the water or coolant flows through that could be a problem of why it overheated but I doubt it I think it was just a busted radiator but you know it's what you get for $1,200 so hopefully gonna sell this bike my dad's got, got some money saved up I got a little bit of money saved up not as much anymore now that I had to buy two top ends for this bike so let's work on getting this piston out and really taking a look at it because it's kind of rough when you move it like that so I think these the bearings in there are shot too it it had to have just been a bad piston because I've never ever seen a piston with those those ridges on the edge like it just tore apart like I don't, I don't even know what happened. Honestly, I, I have no idea what happened. But I'm gonna take take the piston off, and hopefully that's what y'all see right now. Okay, guys. So I pulled the the circ clips out, and the needle bearing and the piston falls uh, forward. You know, because there's nothing holding it in. I pull it up, and uh, this was really hard to get out. Like I'd use needle nose, and you should just be able to just push it right out with the flat head but I pull this out and I'm I'm pretty sure I figured out what caused this right here is look at I, I have promised you I have not touched nothing I just pulled it out and picked up my phone and started recording but if you look right here the needle bearings in there are done like they just fell apart let me see right here it looks like some are broke yeah yep look at that right there that was that rattling noise I heard. You can see. They're just all chipped away. And the other side, let me see it. 
Yep, the other side is the same way. Sorry, I wouldn't get it on camera. But it's just chipped away. That's all the metal. So it wasn't the piston, it was the needle bearings that fell, failed on the spike. You can see all the little needle bearings just laying in there. I'm going to take, uh, turn the camera off and pull those out so I make sure I get all of them out. And don't let any fall on the bottom end, even with the rag. When I pull the rag out, they could fall. I'm going to get it out and I'm going to inspect, inspect it a little bit more and show you all a little bit more in detail about what happened. But I'm actually kind of happy to figure out that, like before, I was just putting new top end in it because I was like, I mean, you know, you can't ride with it. You can't, I mean, it's just done with that. But now that I actually found a cause for it, because I watched a video earlier and they said that the needle bearings did the same exact thing and they showed the cage, the needle bearing cage right here. And this is what they done. And I guess that's all the little pieces of metal that I saw flying around right there and in the head. But let me get that out, guys. Okay, guys, now that I've found a reason, I'm not too worried about it blowing up again. But some one of y'all or a couple of y'all said to check the crank and there should be a little bit of side to side, I know. And zero up and down, like I didn't know that. Like I've done this, uh, I've done this last time but there is none at all a little bit of side to side zero up and down like that you see it moving just you probably can't even see it but that's just side to side you move it up and down and there's nothing at all zero so i think that's good pretty sure that's good but let me show you all real quick i sit down but let me show you all this uh, wrist pin looks fine. Not gonna reuse it though. This side of the cage, you see, just looks really bad. I just sheared it all off. This side, same way. And in these needle bearings, there was a little piece of it. And then all the little needle bearings, which are, you know, they're intact, but they didn't run. So, uh, or it didn't run. It did run, but it didn't. If that makes any sense. Looking at the, the cylinder wall, no scoring at all. At all. Nothing. But I probably will hone it out still I, I don't know because there wasn't but like not even five hours on this piston but uh now that i got that off i still need or got that out of the way i still need to clean out this which i'll do in another video probably if i even do it on, on the video but i'm gonna cover that back up and clean it up and clean the air filter and i think that is a video for today Sorry, they're boring. I don't know how many times I've said that, but I'm sorry, guys. Probably gonna oil the chain also, just because it'll sit here and it'll dry and it will get really old, old because you see it's rusted and it's not bad, but it's just got that rust color that I absolutely cannot stand anywhere. Like the power valve bolts have that rusty look, and I hate that so much. I hate rust. Rust kills me and kills the bike. But uh, let me get that that done, guys, and I'll get back with y'all. Just want to say real quick, go subscribe to Warrior Killer. He's been asking me for a shout out. There you go. See, it's got dark out. Yeah, y'all can see. I've been working on this pipe for about 30 minutes now, and I don't think it's going to get any better than that. I mean, I got a little bit of that off, and the inside's looking rough, but got the outside pretty clean. Looks worse out here. Let me bring it in here. But it looks pretty good now. FMF Gold Series Fatty. Sitting this right over here with the rest of my junk. Cause that's all I got. Um, didn't really do much on the YZ today. Not really, probably not really going to get much done. Except for there, filter really needs to be cleaned. I need to get that. And I would really like to get a bunch of this dust and dirt. Now you can see it with the light on. I mean. All it needs is just a wet rag and clean that out. 
I also would really like to get some of this rust off this pipe. But I don't know how I'm going to get into there. The last thing I'm going to do this bike, and what I forgot to do, was put a little bit of liquid wrench on this chain. I can't spin the tire because it's not in the air, or the wheel, but I'm still going to do it anyway, so. I'm going to show you how, this is how I do it. Normally I'd spin it, but this is how I do it. You just start from the top right here, and you just, dang, I need to stop looking through the camera. You just go all the way around. Really wish. Really wish I could spin the wheel. Yeah, I gotta go quick. There goes my hose. Can I do it like this? Oh yeah, that works. Uh, I guess that's it for today, guys. Be expecting the piston and being Wednesday and being be expecting this bike to run Thursday hopefully it runs let's hope but if you enjoyed this video I'm sorry again I know this is like the third or fourth time I said it my videos are kind of boring right now because I don't really have much to do and it is kind of boring just working on a bike all day that I don't have the parts to make it run but if you enjoyed this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button to see if I get this bike running again to see what I sell this bike for and what I get in the near near future I hope but anyway, guys, have a great day. Have a great night. Hope all of y'all are doing great. I will see y'all tomorrow.